SCR Safety's Complete Fire Alarm Collection Part 3 Notification Appliances. Today I'm going to go through and show you each and every one of the fire alarm notification appliances that are in my collection. I have several other duplicate fire alarm devices that are not laid out there right now and that's simply because I only want to show you one of each different model device I have. I also have several alarms that aren't laid out that are currently installed so I'll go ahead and show you those first. And to save time, I'm not going to give the long model for each fire alarm, but I'll at least give you some basic information about it, like what company it's made by, so you can easily look that up if you want to. This one right here is an EST Genesis 75 Candela fixed horn strobe. And as you can see, it also has a fire trim plate on it. Also currently installed on the far side of the garage, I have this. This is an EST Genesis chime strobe. And as you can see, it also has the fire lettering plate. On my Unimode 10UD system right now, I have this siren. I have two Gentex Commander 4s. This one's not up there. This one is a strobe only model. I have this Agent Spectre Alert Advance. This one's also not up there. And I'm sure a lot of people want to know the model of this one is P2W P. I have this Tectone Quarter Light and then this other Gentex Commander 4, but I already do have one of these horn strobes out there. On this last system here, I currently have installed my Gentex Red Speaker Strobe. I have this Gentex Commander 3 with a blue strobe and my Wheelock MT. All right, now I'm gonna go through each device one at a time to show you all the other alarms that I have in my collection. Let's get started. To start off today, I have this Potter Fire Sprinkler Alarm. This is definitely a cool device to have in my collection. They're not very common. To the right of that, I have my HC-1120 120 volt fire alarm bell. I have my Pyrotronics 24 volt fire alarm bell. I have another Gentex fire alarm bell. This one's 120 volts AC. I have this Pyrotronics single stroke fire alarm bell. This fire alarm bell I haven't used in a lot of my videos. This is a Naton 120 volt fire alarm bell and I believe it's foreign to the US. Going to the right of that, I have this Potter fire alarm bell that runs on 12 volts AC. And lastly, I have this Gentex fire alarm bell that runs on 24 volts DC. All right, now I'm gonna get into some of the Gentex fire alarm devices I have, and let me tell you, it's a lot. So starting off, I have this white Gentex speaker strobe. I have another one of those in red, and I have another one of those with an alert amber strobe. I have another one of those that is ceiling mount and says fire on it, and I have another one of those that's just a speaker only and not a strobe. I have two Gentex sync modules. One of them is for fire, the other is for carbon monoxide. I have this Gentex low frequency sounder speaker strobe here. I have two of my Gentex low frequency sounder horns. One of them's red and the other is white. I have a Gentex SHG. I have this Gentex GX90 horn strobe, another in the strobe only. Here's one that's white that's a horn strobe, and here's one that's white that's a strobe only. And then I have three Gentex mini horns. The one on the left is the newest version, and the two on the right are the older versions. Moving on to the next row here, as you can see I have four of these Gentex outdoor alarms. As you can see some of them have different colored strobes and bodies. And then we'll go on down the line. This right here is a Gentex Commander 3. I have several of these alarms and these are very nice alarms. If you're looking for a first fire alarm, the Gentex Commander 3 is a great pick. I have a Gentex Commander 3 strobe only. This right here is a Gentex Commander 2 horn strobe. This right here is a Gentex Commander 1 strobe only, and then a Gentex Commander 1 horn strobe. I have a bunch of Gentex Commander 3 horn strobes. As you can see, I have several different colored lenses. One's red, two are amber, one is green, and the other is red. These four devices are my Gentex Commander 4s. I have several of the fire marked ones, and then these three are one of a kind in my collection. I have one with a blue strobe and a red body, one with a green strobe and a white body, and one with a red strobe and a white body. This right here is technically a smoke alarm, but I thought I would throw it in. This is a Gentex smoke alarm for the hearing impaired. So if you have problems hearing, this strobe will flash, which you'll be able to see. All right, we're moving on to Wheelock. This right here is my Wheelock AS, and I have several of these, a lot of them by different brands. And then this right here is also a Wheelock AS, but as you can see, it's meant to be mounted on its side. Going down the row, we have my Wheelock RSS remote strobe. I have a Wheelock MT. And then I have the older and the newer version of the Wheelock MT. The newer one is to the right. That right there is my Wheelock NS horn strobe. 
This right here is a Wheelock ZNS horn strobe. And then this one is a ZNS in white. Going on down the row, I have another ZNS strobe only. That right there is my Wheelock LED horn strobe. And then next to it, I also have an LED strobe only that is amber. And that was sent in by Best Security Systems. He gave that to me on Christmas, which was very nice. This right here was my very first fire alarm I ever got. This is a Wheelock Exceder. Mounted on a Wheelock Amber strobe plate, I have currently a Wheelock LED speaker strobe. This right here is my Wheelock E50 speaker strobe. That one's not LED, it's just plain old strobe. Then this one right here, it says it's by Siemens, but it's a rebrand, and this is a Wheelock speaker. To the right of that, I have two Wheelock chime strobes. These are the CH70 model, and as you can see, one of them is newer and one of them is older. If you pause the video, you might be able to find the difference. And then I have another CH70 chime strobe, but this one is in white. This right here is my Wheelock MIZs. One of them is a horn strobe, and the other one's just a horn. And then this is my Wheelock EH-DL1-WM-24. And then my Wheelock 7002T, which I have several of. On to the next row here, I have my EST and KIDA devices. These three are my KIDA LED horn strobes. And then that one is a strobe only. Those two are horn strobes. And then moving on, I have just a horn only. I am now moving on to the Genesises. As you can see, they all look alike, but they are all in fact different. And starting with this white one here, that is an EST Genesis horn strobe with the fire lettering in white. And then I have another horn strobe without fire lettering in red. This right here is a chime strobe with the trim plates, kind of like you saw earlier. Moving to the right of that, I have another Genesis chime strobe without a trim plate. This right here is a Genesis horn only. And then I have a Genesis strobe only. And then an EST Genesis alert horn strobe. This right here is my EST Genesis low frequency sounder. And then I have an Edwards Integrity, just one of those. And then I have two of these Edwards Chime Strobes. These are cool alarms. Very glad to have these in my collection. To the right of that, I have an Edwards Strobe only. And then I have one of those that are in the single gang mounting version. I have my Edwards Pre-Integrity Horn Strobe. And lastly, I have my Edwards Vintage Horn Strobe. I've made a video about this if you want to go check it out and learn more. Right here, these are kind of just some off-place devices because there was nowhere else to put them. And this right here is my STI alarm light. I've made some videos about this a long time ago. It's actually a really cool device. You should definitely go check that out. I have several of these DSC electronic sirens. Uh, here's another one of those mini air raid sirens as seen on my system test board. And then the, the next row is system sensor, but this didn't fit on the row. This is my system sensor mass. Continuing on with system sensor alarms, I have some of the newer L-series alarms. And one thing that's cool, I have some custom strobe fittings and plates that you can put on them. This right here is a system sensor white speaker strobe. I've used this a lot in my speaker system. I have a system sensor P2R horn strobe, system sensor SR strobe only, some more spectral alert advances. This is a white horn strobe, white strobe only. This one's a white horn only. That one's a red HR horn. This one is a system sensor low frequency sounder. That's a cool alarm in my opinion. And then I have a low frequency sounder horn only. This right here is a red system sensor ceiling mount spectral alert advance. Then I have one that is just a strobe only. The other one is a horn strobe. To the right of that, another ceiling mount spectral alert advance white horn strobe. And then this one is a white strobe only. This right here is my Spectra Alert Classic. I have two Spectra Alert Classics, both of them are different generations, and then a Spectra Alert Classic Strobe Only, and then a Spectra Alert Classic Horn Only. And then I have my System Sensor Mini Horns, and the one on the far right is the oldest one. All right, the last row of alarms. The first half of this row are all Simplex alarms. These two are my Simplex True Alerts, and then this one is a Simplex Quick Alert, the older version of the True Alert. The Simplex True Alert on the far left here, this is the Simplex 4906-9127 SmartSync True Alert, probably the most common type of True Alert out there. And then this one right here is a very special model that's hard to find but perfect for collectors. It is the Simplex, and I'm giving the model just because a lot of people want it. 
It is a Simplex 4903-9426. And what makes this special is it's a four-wire true alert with a dip switch on the inside where you can change the alarm from smart sync to free run, which allows you to use it without a Simplex fire alarm control panel or module. All right, this is my Simplex GX90 horn strobe. This is just a rebrand from Gentex. I have a Simplex 4903 horn strobe. This is a 4901 horn only. I have a vintage Simplex strobe plate with a horn on it. This right here is a Simplex strobe plate, or I'm sorry, this is a light plate with a horn on the inside. The light fried the first time I powered it on, so that's why you've never seen it too much, but I still kept it in my collection. And the horn on it, since it's hard to find, is a 2901-9806 horn. This right here is another Simplex horn I have. Simplex has a lot of vintage horns. And the model on it is 2901-9845. And then my last Simplex notification device, this is a Simplex 4050 horn only. And as you can see, it came with the really cool cover that you can put on it. Right here I have two Siemens UMMT horn strobes. One of them has the fire lettering on the front, and then the other has the fire lettering on the side. These are cool alarms in my opinion. Kind of really square, but you know. I have two Cerberus Powertronics strobe onlys. This one right here is a Faraday, and I'll give the model just because it's hard to find. 6226-W is the model of this alarm. And then I have another one that's sort of similar. This is a Cerberus Powertronics MTL-S15-S horn strobe, and this, the alarm on the inside of this is actually very similar to the UMMT. And then lastly here I have two alarms, one of them is by Mercom and the other is by Ademco, and they are both select a horn horn strobes. Both are pretty much the same, just rebrands. And that is my complete fire alarm collection. If you want to learn more about any of these devices, they've all been featured several times in my videos. It's definitely not the biggest collection out there, but it certainly works for me. I've had a lot of fun collecting these devices over the years, and hope to continue to do so with the years to come. Thank you all for watching this video and this series. Definitely go check out the other two videos where I show all the pull stations I have and also all the fire alarm control panels and other cool stuff I have. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day everyone.